ding ding dong, a lang a lang a lang. Ba boom ba yo, ba do ba do ba day. Oh, life could Here be a dream if I could take you up in paradise of above. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love, life could be a dream, sweetheart. Oh, life. The 1950s were quiet years on American college campuses. Black civil rights protests in the South were just beginning, but the white middle-class college campuses of the North were very still. But in 1957, at the University of California at Berkeley, a new era was about to begin. A small group of students from diverse political backgrounds, ranging from red diaper babies of radical left families to sons and daughters of conservative Republicans, formed a political party they called Slate, because it proposed a slate of candidates for campus political office. Slate was the first campus party to campaign against the racial discrimination practiced by sororities and fraternities. They admired the nonviolent tactics of black civil rights workers in the South, and when blacks challenged segregation at Woolworth stores lunch counters, Slate organized pickets at Berkeley. Slate opposed compulsory ROTC classes and demonstrated against capital punishment when Carl Chessman was sentenced to die in 1960. By bringing issues of national importance onto the campus for debate, they pioneered the change in student politics that later became known as the student movement of the 1960s. San Francisco City Hall, May 1960. The House Un-American Activities Committee comes to town. This is part and parcel of our general studies of the machinations of the communist conspiracy. Slate organizes protests. The confrontation between the committee, police, and demonstrators would startle the nation. Police have grabbed a Negro and are dragging him down the stairs on his on his back. My picture was on the front page of the New York Times. Not that you could recognize me. I could being dragged down the steps. You know. So you know. Two days later, I'm looking at my picture and it was bizarre. You know. What did I do? I went to the demonstration and got arrested. And it's suddenly national news. The people that were sociologists and political scientists immediately, immediately responded that this was an amazing event, uh, and it was immediately touted as the end of the silent generation. A girl student has advocated that they all get up and leave, and most of them have. There were about 14 or 15 left, and they have gotten up and moved now for the most part. Doug Walker, the boy that was... Larry, L-A-R-R-Y? That's for dinner. Have you signed up for it already? Cohen, C-O-H-E-N? June 1984. Members of Slate gather in Berkeley for a reunion. It was a time to meet with old friends. <laughs> 